is January 30th, 2023. There's Bass Harbor. As I drive past the harbor, tide is out. And today, I'm doing a little bit of normal life here on the west side of Mount Desert Island. And uh, that's brought on by some of our municipal services. Uh, Bass Harbor is in the town of Tremont and uh, we do not have municipal garbage collection here. You can contract with various private firms to pick up your trash and get rid of it or you can do what a lot of people do and that is take your trash to the transfer station yourself and the transfer station is over in Southwest Harbor so that's where I'm going today I'm gonna make a stop at the marina briefly uh, to take a look at that grounded schooner see what it looks like it's low tide so we should be able to get a good view of it so I'm headed that way right now and we're just coming back to route 102 right ahead at this uh, intersection have to deal with a, a traffic signal here the stop sign and we'll head out and I'll just do a couple quick scenic views on the way to the dump it isn't actually a garbage dump it is a transfer station they uh, send it someplace else I do not know where and here we are going across a little bridge on the Bass Harbor salt marsh which is out there and now we're in Southwest Harbor and we'll continue over and I'll pick this up when we get over to Southwest Harbor well, I'm over at the marina now, and here is a view of that schooner still here. It's obviously pretty significantly hold because it does a submerge at every tide. Uh, the marina manager says that the uh, it's a ferro cement hull, and uh, so that's going to be a challenge to repair it. And also, apparently, the owner. Uh, got sick this winter and died <laughs> so that is a real problem for that boat it's a question of nobody really knows for sure what's going to happen to it people are you know looking for volunteers to help get it out of there but uh, who knows but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a total loss and uh, the deck house has been beat up a little bit, moved around in the, in the weather since the boat uh, went aground. So it is uh, in very poor condition, as you can see. So just thought I'd give you an update on that. So let's continue on over to the garbage dump, one of the more glamorous places here in Southwest Harbor, Maine. So here we are going through downtown Southwest Harbor today as we head over to the dump. So to get there what we're going to do is drive over to Seal Cove Road and turn left. That's just up here about another half mile. And we'll drive up Seal Cove Road a ways and see what there is to see. This isn't the most glamorous uh, part of uh, Mount Desert Island, but it is a necessity of living here unless you contract with somebody to collect your trash and take it over there. And as I said, uh, most of the people I know in Bass Harbor uh, don't do that <laughs> because it's not a big deal to go over every week or two and uh, just dump your trash. Okay, let's see what we've got up here. Here's one of the local gas stations here in Southwest Harbor. How much is gas? 336 and diesel is 539. 
diesel has been holding about two dollars a gallon more than gasoline and that makes uh, driving a diesel truck a bit on the painful side because this is seal cove road because uh, gas mileage it may be better on a diesel truck but it isn't that much better there we go so we're just going to go up there's a little hill here uh, this ahead is freeman ridge so we're going to go up to the top of freeman ridge and hang a right and head down to the transfer station and this isn't as horrible as it might seem uh, what they have is a building with bins for each town and for different kinds of trash like we've got plastic and cans and things like that separated out and they go in and cardboard and they go into different bins so I just uh, put the stuff into bins and be on our way okay here's our turn right here and we'll just drive out here a little bit now seal cove road which we just turned off of does go all the way across the island over to seal cove but not no winter because uh, there's a bit of Acadia National Park between here and Seal Cove and their part of the road is closed in the winter so you can't drive through in the winter I made a video a couple years ago about driving Seal Cove Road I'll just continue across here a little bit until we get to the transfer station and uh, we'll pull in and once we're in there, we can. Uh, I'm not going to subject you to watching me dump my trash. But uh, just groups up here. There was a big pothole back there. I wanted to go around. It's just up here. There's a bit of a valley here that this uh, transfer station is in, and that. Uh, This actually would be quite a scenic valley, except for the fact that uh, the old garbage dump is here. Okay, here we go. This uh, green building on the left up here is where we are going to put our trash. So I'll just show you the view up here. As I said, it's quite a scenic little valley, but uh, this is the site of the old Southwest Harbor garbage dump, so uh, probably is a bit on the polluted side. Okay, so you can see they've got a big solar array over there, and that's that. So, so I'm going to uh, stop this until I finish uh, dumping my trash. Okay, we're finished with that. Shouldn't have to go back there for quite a while. In the winter, uh, we have an outside bin where we can put uh, garbage and it freezes down. It isn't an issue. And we only go about once a month. But anyway, this road, I turned left coming out of the uh, transfer station instead of right to go back to town because this road continues over to the south end of Long Pond, which is the biggest pond on Mount Desert Island. And the reason this particular road goes over there is that that is where Southwest Harbor gets its drinking water. They have a little uh, pumping station and uh, processing set up to get drinking water. You just drive across here and go on down to the pond and there's a little tiny beach there you can't go in the water but you can uh, walk along the little tiny beach and there is there are a couple trails that begin there that go along the side of the pond and we're just about there can be a little tricky coming down here in the winter because it's a fairly steep hill and it can be icy. And 
be down at the pond in just a second. And we'll park and take a look at it. Okay, here we are at the southern tip of Long Pond. Some nice uh, cliffs over here. And on the other side, this is really quite a scenic spot. And you can see the pond is frozen over. It's going to get a lot more frozen this weekend, but I would not walk on that. I doubt it's uh, thick enough to support a person. And uh, there's the Southwest Harbor Town uh, pumping station, and they have, you know, a filtration plant and everything in there. And here is one of the trails that starts here. I'm not going to go up there today. It looks a little on the icy side. And there is also another trail that goes up alongside the pond that starts right over here at the end of the parking area. So this is an area where you can get into uh, Acadia National Park. That hillside there is Acadia National Park. And most of the area on the other side is the park too. But you can get into Acadia National Park here and walk these trails. And uh, most of the time, there are very few people here. There's one that goes around the edge of the pond. I'm not going to try to go over there today because it looks really icy. But it's, uh, and you can walk along the edge of the pond, and I think the trail works its way up that hillside. So, and over there is a private home. So this is a, a nice kind of secluded part of Acadia National Park that you can walk in that uh, very few people come to. Now there's not a lot of parking here, maybe room for seven or eight cars, but uh, it is very close to Southwest Harbor. I would say we're six or seven minutes from Southwest Harbor to come here and have a look at this part of Long Pond. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. Got a little bit of a variety of things. We got to uh, see the uh, partly sunken schooner over there in Southwest Harbor from the Great Harbor Marina. We got to experience an exciting stop at the local dump. And finally, a nice view of Long Pond here in the mid middle of the island. So I'll say thanks for watching.